Hi there, in this video I'm going to be talking about the benefits of vitamin C to skin, the various forms of vitamin C used in skincare and finally I'm going to be touching on the packaging and why it's so important in vitamin C skincare products. Vitamin C offers three main benefits to our skin. The first one is it's a very effective antioxidant. What do I mean by that? Environmental nasties, environmental stresses like sun's UV radiation, pollution and all the other environmental nasty things cause the formation of something called free radicals in our skin. What free radicals do is they're very nasty, they're super highly reactive, they go in there and damage all the good cells and thus they age the skin and also cause a lot of other problems to the skin. Now what an antioxidant does is an antioxidant gets in there and neutralizes the free radicals and thus it puts a stop to all the harmful effects free radicals can cause. Now vitamin C is a very good and effective antioxidant. The second way in which vitamin C can benefit our skin is in terms of collagen production. Now collagen is a protein found in our skin and it gives the skin its structure. As we age the amount of collagen starts to reduce. When the amount of collagen starts to reduce skin starts to sag because collagen is the building blocks. It is what giving the skin its structure. Now what vitamin C does is it helps collagen production in two ways. The first way is it's a cofactor for two enzymes which are responsible for the production of collagen. What does cofactor mean? It basically helps these two enzymes which are responsible for the collagen production. And the second way in which vitamin C can help with collagen is there is another enzyme which is responsible for the breakdown of the existing collagen. Now what vitamin C does is it goes and stops this other enzyme which is responsible for the breakdown of collagen and thus it stops the breakdown of collagen. And that's how vitamin C can help with collagen production. It boosts the production of collagen and it also inhibits, slows down the breakdown of collagen. The third way in which vitamin C can help our skin is with regards to the hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone and dark spots. So how can it help us with that? Now you see melanin is a pigment found in the skin and it plays a very important role in the health of our skin. But sometimes excess melanin gets produced and we need to put a stop to this excess melanin production because you see what happens is this excess melanin travels from the deeper layers of the skin and reaches the visible layer of the skin and this excess melanin is what's responsible for the uneven skin tone dark spots. Now the color of these dark spots and the uneven skin tone is from the color of melanin. Now what vitamin C does is it reduces the production of excess melanin. How does it do that? Now tyrosinase is an enzyme which helps in the production of melanin. Now what vitamin C does is it goes and interferes with tyrosinase. How does it do that? It goes and interferes with tyrosinase and kind of eats away all the copper that tyrosinase needs in the production of melanin. So by reducing the amount of copper, by taking away the copper that tyrosinase needs, it inhibits the production of excess melanin. So it prevents the formation of these dark spots and uneven skin tone. So that's how vitamin C can help with the dark spots and the uneven skin tone. Now the first two benefits that I said about the antioxidant and the collagen production, those are the two benefits in which, through which it can actually help with the anti-aging of the skin. The third way with regards to the uneven skin tone and the dark spots, by reducing the formation of them, these dark spots and all that, vitamin C brightens up the skin. So when we hear vitamin C brightens up the skin, how does it do that? This way by reducing that uneven skin tone and the dark spots. So the thing is we do get vitamin C from the foods we consume but very little, very little of the vitamin C that we consume from the foods reaches our skin and that's why we need vitamin C skincare products. Now the purest form of vitamin C is L-ascorbic acid. 
Now this is the form which the skin recognizes. So for vitamin C to have an effect on our skin, it has to be in the form of L-ascorbic acid. But there's a big problem with this form. This is very difficult to formulate in skincare products. It is highly unstable. And so a lot of chemists have a lot of problems using this because using this L-ascorbic acid can make the product go rancid. And added to this, this ingredient has to be at a very low pH for it to be able to penetrate and get to the deeper layers of skin. It has to be at a pH of 3.5 or lower. Now pH is a measure of how acidic or alkaline a substance is. At this very low pH of 3.5 and lower, this l acid can cause a lot of irritation to the skin. Though it can get to the deeper layers of the skin, it can also cause a lot of inflammation and redness and irritation to the skin. And that's why a lot of chemists find it really hard to use l acid in their products. Instead, they use a lot of other derivatives of vitamin C. And those are the derivatives I'm going to be talking about in the next section of the video. Not all derivatives are made the same. And the benefits that the derivatives bring are not always the same benefits that the L-ascorbic acid can offer. When we apply a derivative of vitamin C on our skin, it has to be converted. The skin has to convert it into L-ascorbic acid and that's when it starts taking an effect on our skin. So there is a conversion process involved, but it is easy to formulate, plus it's less irritating on the skin. The first derivative of vitamin C that I'm going to be talking about is sodium ascorbyl phosphate. Now this is less irritating on the skin. It is not easily absorbed by the skin, meaning you need a lot of sodium ascorbyl phosphate in the product and only some of it will get absorbed into the skin. So if the product lists this ingredient way down the ingredient list, then it's probably not going to be very effective. It has got some antioxidant properties like vitamin C. It does not have the collagen boosting properties and the anti-hyperpigmentation properties that the vitamin C, the true form of vitamin C, the ascorbic acid has. So the only property of vitamin C it has is its antioxidant property. It does have an additional benefit. It's got antimicrobial properties. It is particularly effective against the bacteria that causes acne. So if you've got acne prone skin, sodium ascorbyl phosphate can be helpful. The next one I want to talk about is a magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. Now this is not easily absorbed by skin at all. So you need lot of this ingredient in the product for it to get absorbed into the skin. Lots of it and then some of it will get absorbed into the skin. It has some of the brightening properties of ascorbic acid so it can work against the pigmentation to some extent. The next vitamin C derivative is 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. It's used in a lot of vitamin C skincare products. It is much easily absorbed by the skin than the other two, better than the sodium ascorbyl phosphate and magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. The property of ascorbic acid that it inherits is its anti-pigmentation property. It's quite effective in reducing the dark spots and the uneven skin tone. It's also quite a stable ingredient. The next vitamin C derivative is ascorbyl palmitate. This probably is one of the least effective vitamin C derivatives. Now it's got the same stability issues like ascorbic acid, so it's not stable at all. And you know how whenever any vitamin C derivative touches the skin, it's got to be converted into ascorbic acid for it to be effective. We're not even sure if ascorbyl palmitate can get converted to ascorbic acid. Maybe it can, but not to the same extent as the other derivatives. So it's, it's a least effective vitamin C derivative. The final vitamin C derivative that I'm going to be talking about today is the tetrahexadectyl palmitate. This is one of the best vitamin C derivatives out there in the market. It inherits all the properties of ascorbic acids, all the benefits. So it's very good at boosting the collagen production. It's good at reducing the dark spots and reducing that uh, uneven skin tone and it's a very good antioxidant. It's quite stable, it can penetrate and get to the deeper layers of the skin so all very good. 
but it's quite expensive and that's why not many skincare manufacturers will be using it it's an expensive ingredient but it is super effective almost like the ascorbic acid a lot of studies have been done on ascorbic acid and how it is super duper effective on the skin not enough studies have been done on the effectiveness of the derivatives of vitamin c so we do need more studies with regards to vitamin c derivatives so finally coming to the packaging now vitamin c can get oxidized very quickly it doesn't matter whether it's ascorbic acid or derivatives of ascorbic acid they all can get oxidized quickly and they can go rancid of course the derivatives are much more stable than the original form but they can still get oxidized and packaging has a very important role to play in increasing the shelf life of the vitamin c skincare product now first thing is it should be very opaque so it should not be a see-through bottle if it's clear white see-through bottle then no no and then an eyedropper the dropping mechanism of the vitamin c if it's an eyedropper then that's not super effective because air can still travel through it and that can oxidize it but unfortunately most skincare products do use an eyedropper the more effective one is an air pump the pumping action the pumping action skincare packaging is very effective for vitamin c skincare product so if you see it going orange around the bottle then you know it's getting rancid so don't buy huge volumes of vitamin c skincare product buy a smaller container use it use it in a month or two and then go to the next one the, the, don't buy a big quantity one because it will go rancid it won't have a long shelf life so that's it if you found this video useful please give it a like and do subscribe to the channel that will really help me a lot